Hey, this is Morton from lynda.com and design is philosophy. WordPress 3.5 is coming out in about a week's time and I thought I'd give you a preview of one of the new features, which is the new add media panel. The media function has been around in WordPress for a long time and made it easy to post images and other media content, but with WordPress 3.5, it's been completely revamped and changed into something much better than it was before. The first thing you see is that we now have an actual add media button. If you remember back to older versions of WordPress, we didn't really have a button for add media. We just had this upload insert text thing with an icon that kind of looks like a button if you click on it, but then people couldn't find it and they were always searching for the button. Well, that problem has been fixed now. There's an actual button. And when you click the button, that's when you see the big change. When you click on the button, you get this new insert media panel. And as you can see, it's very different from the old one. Gone are the panels and tabs and all that stuff. And instead we have this really clean interface. From here, you can upload files by dragging them and dropping them in here. You can click select files to upload files directly. And you can also go to the media library and see all the images that you've ever uploaded to your site. You can also go and embed from URL and then you just put in the URL to an image you find on the web and then you can give it a title and so on. But I'm going to show you how to upload files. So I'll go upload files and click select files and I'll select this Canadian HTML5 crust here and click open. And now you'll see what makes this new media panel so much better than the old one. You see here the new file I uploaded has been checked and here on the right hand side we can give it a title. We can set an alternate text. We can also do the standard stuff like set the alignment for the image, left, center, right, or none. We can also set it to link to either a custom URL, to the attachment page, or we can link it to the media file, which is the image, and we can set a size. But what's really cool is the captions now allow for HTML. Previously, when you added a caption, the caption would be just straight text, but now you can put HTML in your caption. So for example, you can make bold text. And you can also add things like a link. So if you're posting an image that you found somewhere else, you can put a link in the caption pointing back to where you got the image from. It's really neat and you can do a lot of cool stuff with it. Once you're done setting all your information, you click insert into post and the image gets inserted into your post. There it is. And just like before, if you want to get rid of it, you just click on the image and click on the big stop sign, or you can go back and edit the image. And here you see what's left of the old media panel. But it's not just single images that have been improved. If you've ever tried to add an image gallery to WordPress, you know, it used to be a bit of a hassle because you had to upload all the images that you wanted in the gallery to the post, but then all the images in the post got in the gallery. And then if you wanted to remove one image, it was kind of uh, tricky because you had to go into the short code and change it. Well, you don't really have to worry about that anymore because if you go back to add media here and you say you want to add a gallery, you just select the images you want to appear in your gallery like that. And you see when you select them, you get this check mark. And if you don't want them, you can unselect them if you want. And once you're done selecting them, you get this new button here, create a new gallery. And if you click on that, you go directly to the gallery editor. From here, you can grab images and move them around. You can put new captions on the images. You can upload more images if you want to. And you can set whether or not each of the images are going to link to the attachment page or to the original file and how many columns you want your gallery to have. Now you noticed these images were not assigned to this post. I just assigned them to the gallery. And when I click insert gallery, we get a new image gallery. I can go preview and you see here we have the gallery just like we did before, except this time these images don't really belong to this post. They're just images that are in my system. That's a major improvement because it means, for instance, photographers are now able to use older images in different galleries depending on what they want to do and they don't have to really fight over it anymore. If you want to see what the gallery looks like behind the scenes, you click on this text button. It used to say HTML, now it says text. And you see the behind the scenes. And here you see that all this gallery is is a short code with the IDs for each of the images. The new media manager is just one of the major updates in WordPress 3.5. Also worth mentioning, 
is the new default theme 2012, and the fact that WordPress admin is now ready for high definition screens like the ones you find on the MacBook Pro with a Retina display and several different types of tablets. The only way you can really get to experience these new features is by updating WordPress to WordPress 3.5, and if you have a WordPress site, you should always update to the latest version. If you need any help with WordPress, or if you want to learn more about how to use WordPress, you can always check out my courses on lynda.com, or you can come visit me at Design is Philosophy.